No, I don't care that the Packers and the Titans are playing right now. Thursday Night Football is still mid. Because first off, why are you wanting to even pretend to watch the Titans and the Packers? I don't care if the Packers have the name power. I don't care if the Packers beat the Cowboys last week. I don't care. Mid. I will throw around that word if I need to. But incredibly mediocre Packers team that, you know, again, took advantage of the Cowboys being complete. Completely stupid last week, but it, it, it's no matter. It's no matter. You know, you got the Bears and the Falcons, you know, on Sunday. You know, Justin Fields, Marcus Mariota. You know, Fields playing like an NFL quarterback. You know, the Falcons still kind of working their way out, you know, and figuring things out. The Ravens are back from a bye, but it seems like, you know, Baker Mayfield's going to start for the Panthers. Uh... Uh, you know, and and the Ravens. I mean, they 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 might just take your business. Like I swear, I swear, if we talked about the Ravens in the past couple weeks, it feels like we have it. Like I know the Ravens went on a buy, but it's like it it doesn't feel like they went on a buy. It feels like they've been on a buy for quite some time. But I mean, they're finding their groove. Bills, Browns got moved to Detroit, so you know. There's that, you know, how in the world are the Bills going to rebound after that, you know, because, I mean, like, inexplicable loss right there, you know, in one of the greatest games I think we've ever seen in a regular season in quite some time. Uh, we know the Bills have a weakness on run defense, that's a, that's a lot of teams' weakness, actually, so Nick Chubb might be able to do some damage against this Bills defense, I think. There's also the Commanders and the Texans. Commanders definitely riding high after that win they had against the Eagles, and the Texans are terrible, you know. It seems like, um, I'm not sure if Heineke's still going to start. I think he might. I don't know. Um, again, Eagles are all, again, a lot of teams are struggling with run defense. And, I mean, the Eagles are no exception. They're going to be taking on Jonathan Taylor, who uh, I believe he's still kind of hurt, if I'm not mistaken. But he should be, you know, you know get, back to, get back to normal. Uh, but I don't know. The Colts, aren't, the Colts aren't very good. Like That's just a lot of teams in the NFL. Like, half the NFL is really good. Half the NFL, not so much. You know, it's, you know, it's made for a weird combination of games this year. Like, you got the Jets and the Patriots being really, I think, the only matchup of teams that have a winning record yet again this week. I think this is the only game that has two teams with a winning record, you know. It's going to be a weird one with Mac Jones and Zach Wilson, but I think, I think we're going to have something. And especially with the Patriots, DBs, especially with the Jets corners. You know, we know what them corners could do for the Jets, man. There's also Saints, Rams. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe Matthew Stafford will come back because Wolford was terrible. Wolford was terrible. And then you got Cooper Cup. He's out. And there's just and this O line is just not you know getting there. The O line is banged up. You know, and stuff like that. Like, I don't know. I don't know, man. At least Detroit's on the road. They're going to New York to take on the Giants. Um, honestly, I'm still surprised that the Giants are even 7-2 at this point. But they are. But they are 7-2. I'm tired. I, I really am. I really am tired of talking about the Giants, you know how good their defense is. We know how good their defense is. It's just, maybe the Lions can score on it. Maybe. Potentially score. You know. So the Giants really don't have the firepower to put up 30 points a game like some of these other teams do. They don't have that firepower. But we'll see. Raiders, Broncos, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is, this is, oh Jesus. 
You gotta be sick to watch this. You gotta be a true sicko to watch this game. You got Russell Wilson and the Broncos who just have looked awful, downright dreadful. You know, the Raiders have looked even worse. Defense is absolute garbage. You know, Broncos offense absolute garbage. Like it's just it's just not fun. Actually, hold up. Cowboys Vikings. This is gonna be a good one, you know. Uh Again, Cowboys defense has a bit of a weakness against the run. Dak and the boys on the offense have been playing pretty good. Again, Dalvin Cook might be the guy, you know, again, who can just run up all up on the Cowboys defense. That again, the run defense has been a weakness of many, many teams this year. It's for whatever reason, because people are expecting the pass, you know. Run defense has been less of a priority. And then I don't know who put. I know it got flexed out, but come on. You want Kenny Pickett and the Steelers at 425? I I know it's against Joe Shiesty, Joe Burrow, Joe Burr, and the Bengals, but come on, put that game at one o'clock as God intended. Put that game at one o'clock. Oh hey, the Chargers, they're playing another Sunday night game. That's cool. Um Seems like Justin Herbert might have some help in Mike Williams and Keenan Allen. And maybe Joey Bosa, you know, can help too. But this is Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> I mean you look at this Chiefs offense, you look at this Chiefs defense, they are on another level. Definitely something good. Seven and two Chiefs. Chargers kind of middling at five and four, but you know it's 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 a five and four that they, they can they can they can do something. Jimmy G and the 49ers and the Arizona Cardinals. You know it seems like Colt McCoy will be back at quarterback this week as well. And this game is in Mexico, Mexico City, in the steady in the Estadio Azteca. Almost said a stadio. I meant a stadio Azteca. So, you know, it's going to be an interesting one, I think. Because, um, you know, you know, because again, the way the Cardinals were able to win last week with Colt McCoy and using their defense finally, you know, that that, that is a recipe for something. But, you, you never know. 49ers still, to me, right now, you know, a lot of people are saying, oh, well, they got the firepower to win the NFC. I, I, I see a little bit where you're coming from. I don't see it completely. They have to prove it to me. They have to prove it to me that they can win the NFC with this offense. I don't, I don't think they can because I don't think it's enough firepower. I think they have a good amount of firepower but it's not like oh my god this is a super team like this is enough power to maybe get you maybe get you somewhere I don't know where but it'll get you somewhere in any case I wanted that snow game and I hate that we were robbed of it it's okay I can live with it it's fine I can live with it see you on Monday night sorry this was so late but you know, it's like 30 minutes after the Titans Packers game started. But honestly, again, if you're watching that game, why? Why?